Good morning, everyone. My name is Alex, and you join me right after we bought our Atlas Excavator, and it's looking quite fine. We are going to be doing... Buddy, if this is GTA. Uh, we are going to be doing a new job here. So, we have to do... The expansion. So, let's go ahead and let's start this job. Hopefully we have enough money to get this done. Let's go uh, find them here. I'm not saying it took half an hour to get here or anything, but that was a little, a little much. So what does the old feller got to say? Congratulations on the impressive company premises. My old company in the village can barely keep up, right? From now on, all paths are wide open to you, and you get to decide what to do next. You'll see, there's plenty to do in this city. Some important stakeholders are constantly fighting for things to improve here one day, but there's no active support. There's my old school friend, Mayor Hardfield, the tourism officer, Pam, the exciting and not to be underestimated tech entrepreneur, Sky Dunner, and the rough around the edges harbor master, Liam O'Reilly. They are your go-to people when it comes to exciting and well-paid jobs. If you want to make a difference here, meet them and find out what they're up to with the city. Good luck to you. Take care and see you soon. Wait, you made me... You couldn't have called me? Or sent a text? You made me drive all the way down here for that. Thanks. I guess this is the property I bought, but still. 150 grand for being in the city? That seems fairly cheap yes we're gonna go ahead and oh we okay we upgraded the thing okay well that's that's fine so we got to do campaign missions uh own construction machines and all kinds of other stuff good let's see if we can actually do yes yes we can <laughs> now i see a lot of people going tourism and the uh, the urban space. I don't think I want to do either one of those. Let's see what the ur this guy has. The pier is neglected and nothing more than a place for the goals to meet. So we need to refurb this. So we go meet them. We're going to flatten it with a wheel loader. Hopefully. We got the money for that. We've got stuff to get rid of. Hey, we've got our, our thing there. We'll have to do a little bit of backfilling. Concrete work. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to do. This will be pretty good. So, let's go ahead and accept this contract. Yes, I still want to accept this job because I'm pretty sure I've got this. So, let's go meet up with this fella. Oh, wow. Is this what we're working in? Or is it out there? This is going to be interesting. Hello, sir. Greetings. I was ready to give up hope before your company accepted the job. I'm happy for any support, and especially to see new faces in the construction industry, because there's a lot to do in the harbor region. With severe storms, the large breakwater protects the harbor from the raging sea. And during a storm surge last fall, however, it gave way in a few places, and some of the moorings were also damaged. The municipality expects me to fix it ASAP. And, uh, how can I... Oh, we might actually be doing that. Okay. That's why you've really come at the right time. So, repairing breakwaters and jetties. That will be your first tasks for now. So, we're going to flatten out an area. Oh, okay, this is going to be so cool. Alright. Let's do this, then. So we're going to need two things for this, and we're going to have to keep it cheap. We're going to need a a wheel loader and a dump truck. So we're going to go really cheap here. So we have ten grand. We can get this dump truck for $2,400, which is okay. Or I could get the Kenworth. I might actually get the Kenworth. And then we need a wheel loader. And we can get a baby one here for 
$2,700. I don't think I want to go with a Bobcat. So let's go ahead and get... Maybe this one? Little baby case? Uh, probably a little bit small for what we're trying to do. So we got our dump truck and we got the wheel loader here. Let's try to give this a go. I don't know why it's... It was still yelling at me to flatten out an area, but I thought it was right here. So I don't know what it's... Uh, what it's on about. <laughs> really. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Unless it's not want me to use this? I thought it wanted me to use this, and it's like, nah fam, you're you're doing it wrong, so I could be just wasting time here, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. Hopefully I don't need to buy something else. Make sure that we're not going to drive off the pier. That would be a not fun time. And I keep hitting the uh, the left mouse button. Or not mouse button. The left bumper. For the uh, all the controls. Because I'm really, really used to how farming sim works. Sorry, words are hard. Words are hard. Trying to get this first joyride. I don't know what that means. Oh, maybe we need to push this over into there or something. Oh, can I just do that? Can I be a? Uh, can I be just a feller and just kind of do a little shoving here without driving over the edge? with the butt wiggle. There we go. This is like a, a hard place to drive. I wasn't expecting to be on such narrows. I can see why they wanted you to have a little bit uh, a little bit smaller guy here. Because if you go really big, you're going to be in for a world of hurt. But we can just go ahead and yeah, we're, we're just going to build a bridge here, basically. Not like a, a real bridge, but... One that we're going to need to to get by. There we go. I might be doing this wrong. But I like that being over there, so we can keep we can keep doing, you know, pushing and, and getting the the whole field up here. Yeah, we're making progress, so I can't uh, can't complain none. So we've we've apparently already got this part done. Did I did I do good, boss? Oh, okay. Oh, we gotta go all the way out there. That's that's gonna be the scary part, huh? So let's back on up here and see what our next uh, next objective is. Oh, don't don't fall. Don't fall. There we go. Okay, I'm glad I didn't move the truck away. 
because there's a destroyed road section and some rock, which is right here. I don't think we're going to be getting in there with with this. No. Okay, so my little my little cranes here. Let's see if we can get that down into here. I don't know why it told me I needed the dump truck. I'm kind of uh, upset that I spent the money on the dump truck. Now, do I need to bring those over there? Or can I put them on this? I'm not sure what the criteria is here for for getting this stuff cleaned away. So we're gonna put this all the way up front as we do. Oh, it won't let me put it there. Well, that's no good. So what do I? Well, this isn't gonna reach now, is it? I think it might be time to buy a, a bigger crane too, but that might be uh an option for another day. Are you gonna reach? It's gonna be close. Okay, we got one piece out of the way. <laughs> it's so kind of weird. I gotta j just drive two feet forward because I didn't park in the right place. It seems a little, a little bit ridiculous. And now I have a uh, a wheel loader in the way. I do like the little wheel loader though. It's it's pretty fun. And by little, I mean the biggest piece out of the whole bunch that we had. Excavate the area. Well, good thing I have something for that, huh? So we're going to give this a go. I'm going to move the truck. I don't know exactly where to, to put this. I'm thinking maybe like right beside of it. Kind of like where I can... I can get to and unload it. That's what I'm hoping here. So, but I don't know like how much swing this thing has. I'm kind of judging it off of the rear. So hopefully, whenever I do this, it does clear. Okay. Now, now we get to suffer. Everybody gets to suffer together. So we're just going to very quickly. Yeah, this is working. This is working. Oh, not that well, though. Um, go up. Up. In. Down. Down. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally having to... Uh, to kind of say what I'm thinking here, because I don't know the... I don't know the best way to get my hands to work, for one. Oh, you didn't get a full scoop, but we got enough. I do say I, I, I love excavating in this game. Uh, let's try it from the interior. Let's see here. Maybe Alex can do a little bit better when he's looking at it from from the inside here. It it almost feels like my controls are reset, but I'm not exactly sure that that's what's going on here I don't think that it is like I feel like I don't know it just it doesn't it doesn't feel like where I had it set up like the this arm is backwards now because it should be like I pull back on the arm and then left to roll the bucket right 
Well, if I pull back, I'm going out. Yeah, that feels a little bit more natural. Yeah, a little bit. There we go. Not the best, not the best. Getting better, though. I think there's like a dead zone, and I'm not really feeling it with the uh, with the Xbox controller. Like, it feels like... Uh, it, it honestly feels like the controls don't have, like, any room for any kind of error. Where, when you're operating like, the, the actual machine, right? Like, well, one, you've got feeling. And, like, I'm knuckling in way too much here. So, like, but whenever I'm trying to knuckle out... Okay, so, if you can see my bucket here, I'm knuckling out. But whenever I get over this away and I go up and then knuckle out, it it's like the bucket is not is not uh, doing me any favors. So I'm booming in and going up, but it's not, it's like it's wanting to turn the bucket out for whatever reason. And I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Truck is getting pretty full. I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that uh, everything's gonna turn out okay here. I don't want to do multiple multiple trips. That's for sure. We'll just overfill the truck. I, I've not seen an, a DOT officer, so we're just gonna We're just going to overfill a little bit. That never hurt nobody, right? Nobody but the tax man and a few pedestrians probably died. I think getting the bucket upgrade was for sure a big help, though. Oh, yeah, we're going to be able to do this in one go, I think. We got two more scoops. Come on, truck. You can fit one more. Uno mas. Right? We can do it. Need one more big scoop. So wait, what are we doing with this then? Can I close, uh... No, apparently I can't close the little back, maybe? No, we don't want to do that. I don't necessarily like the time on this game. Like... I haven't done anything. I dug a hole and, and pushed some dirt, and it, it's it's like six o'clock in the evening for reasons. And I don't think that that's uh, I don't think that that's good. <laughs> so 
So we're going to need steel beams. Ooh, what did we need for this part? Powered of metal elements and steel beams. Oh, I hope I have enough for this. Ooh, boy. We're getting close. So I got three grand left. Hopefully, uh, delivering <laughs> these materials. Uh, I, I really, really hope that that pays for something. Ooh, okay. I passed time until morning, and it wasn't joking about things being used overnight. I thought it was going to be like, you know, yeah, we used it overnight, but not like, yeah, we used it overnight, because that's a little, uh, it's a little bit disheartening. To tell you the truth. So, if this step doesn't pay out, we're pretty much boned. I think this step will pay out, though. I, I really do. Or, at least I really hope that it does. Fill the area with soil. Okay, we can do that. Here's the hoping that this is enough soil, which I don't think that it is. I guess I learned my lesson. Hey, don't, uh, don't pass time too quickly or bad things will happen. All right, let's try this. Come on, baby. Oh, no, we're not even going to get halfway there. Uh-oh. That's not good. So where do I buy bulk material here? Can I come like down here and dig it myself? That'd be kind of cool. So we're looking for soil. Alright, here's soil. Give me give me some soil. Oh. That's not good. Well, I've made a boo-boo. A big boo-boo, actually. I think I'm gonna have to take a little side job. Oh no. Can I just like skip this part then like I get a hundred and two thousand dollars <laughs> please just let me uh, let me uh, skip this task maybe I'm gonna try it yes okay we got some money okay we got Whew. We got some money. <laughs> I was a little bit worried. There does seem to be, like, a lot, and I mean a lot, of fast traveling uh, in this in this game. I think this might be because they want you to play this multiplayer, and getting, you know, items and such uh, would be, like, one person's job or something, right? I, I think that that's... A lot of it because uh, I think what we're gonna need now is probably gonna be a concrete truck and I really I'm trying to think of you know the next vehicle to buy it might actually be a concrete truck just because we've used one basically in all the jobs up to this point, so it's kind of like, well, you know, getting, you want to get the most bang for your buck, right? So I think getting the concrete truck is probably going to be, be what we need, seeing how we're having to use one again. I don't think we're going to need a dump truck for anything else. And what I'm hoping I'm not spending too much money on is concrete. I don't know how much we're actually going to need. 
because that was fifteen thousand dollars at a whack. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we didn't just waste that. So I guess we're just gonna do a, a drive-by pouring here. Let's see if we can get into a little bit better position. Trying to parallel park a concrete truck seems to be slightly difficult. It doesn't want to go up on this curb. Don't know why. Maybe because it's dangerous. So let's start pouring. Look at us go. We're just pouring. And eh, maybe it'd probably be a a good idea to kind of back up and then move the snout around. Got a little bit, a uh, little bit more reach. I thought we would be doing uh, just a you know a little bit of a, a little bit of a drive by. You know, just kind of hanging out. Maybe we'll get that, uh, what is it called, the viscous concrete perk to where it uh, wants to more easily spread. Yeah, let's just, just back right up into it. I'm, I'm sure that that's good for everybody and everything. Make sure we get it thoroughly. We're definitely putting it in the concrete, though. I mean, let's face it. I'd hire me. Wouldn't you guys hire me? I'm I'm good at I'm good at construction. I seem to be apt for this job. You know, only missing half of the things. Will it just not flow here? I guess not. It's like here. Just drive back here. There's an extra sheet on the side of my truck. I can see it. But I don't know why I can't use it. And that's kind of uh, kind of upsetting, really. If I just do this, we'll, we'll slowly bring the chute and everything around. There we go. Yeah, let's get right into it. I'm, I'm sure that this is how they wanted the game to be played. Right. Now we got to clear the construction site. have the concrete truck and everything else in the way. Let's so go ahead and send this guy back. As long as I'm not in it. Now I gotta speak with Harbor Master again. What was his name? O'Malley? Something like that. Thanks for pitching in. A storm surge like this isn't much fun if you're not well prepared. At least the big ships can safely dock again. However, that will not be enough. There are a few considerations that would certainly not hurt the economics of the harbor. My intuition tells me that we landed exactly the right fish with your company. Oh, you get at water puns. And as an experienced seafarer, I've always relied on my gut feeling. I just, I don't think you're going to get a very big boat in there. 
<laughs> Let's just be completely honest. So next on our Harbor Master quest, let's see here. We did Risky Ties. We can do Old Becomes New. They're looking for a hotel, so we're going to make... Uh, it looks like uh, containers and hotels. That's kind of uh, different. How many steps is this? 13 stages. Well, we're definitely not going to be doing that one today. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my. Okay, it pays out $759,000. But yeah, that was... Uh, that's something. How about Innovate Technologies? Looks like we built a car park. Payouts one million dollars. Uh, so we do excavate. Looks like we're gonna need a dozer. Disposal of stuff. Building an earth ramp. E excavating. Oh my. That looks like something that we can do in the next one so we're going to not do one of those today i'm gonna to kind of keep these short but that is where we're going to leave it at for today so we got our new place we built and fixed up the pier a little bit so in the next one we will be you know trying to take a look at maybe doing that one million dollar job i think that that might be a pretty good test of our skill and seeing you know how badly I can really mess up the game because let's face it I I drive horribly but thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you did enjoy this I know it's different than uh, farming sim but it's definitely fun and I'm having a good time playing it we might play multiplayer on this uh, maybe we can get a few people together but that is where I'm gonna leave it so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you are new, think about subscribing and sticking around where we just do dumb things like this all day. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.